Hello there. Welcome to week, well, the end of cancer season. <laughs> um, we're done with the weeks of cancer season. It's already the end. How are you doing? So glad that you're here. Um, I can't wait to hop. I'm just going to hop right into this. Um, our cancer season wrap up slash Leo season sneak peek, um, really talking about melding the two energies um, and taking how how cancer season is really supporting the work of Leo season, as well as what we want to take from cancer season and make sure that though it's been so potent for us over the past several weeks, um, that it doesn't just kind of dissolve um, or that we, we just kind of put it all aside until next year because we're moving into the next season of Leo. Um, we want to be really intentional with these portals this this time between seasons is totally a portal and i always say this i i i love the opportunity to really reflect and look at um look at them very separately the season that we're exiting and the season that we're entering but then also looking at how they um build upon each other and how they support each other and how it all just fits into the big picture both <clears throat> So jumping in, um, we know what cancer season has been, right? We've been, we've been, we've been in it. We've been through it. We've been experiencing it. Um, like I say, cancer, cancer is really setting the stage for what Leo is bringing to us. We've been, um, invited to really explore ourselves, our inner selves, our, our inner crab and um, I haven't named it this way, but in a lot of ways, what we're doing is talking about ego work um, because we've also been talking about how we defend that soft, gentle inner crab, right? Um, a lot of this is ego work and um, cancer, or sorry, gosh, Leo season of Expansive Astrology Academy is going to include a whole lot of ego work <clears throat> in the most fun, best juicy ways. I'm so, I'm so excited for, for Leo season. Um, we've been really tending to creating a deep, compassionate, knowing and intimate relationship with ourselves and how we operate and how we mother ourselves and what, um, where we're coming from our, our value system, right? Now in Leo season, we get to shine we like the, that side of us gets to gets to shine <laughs> um and and we get to really explore what it looks like to fall helplessly in love with ourselves um the leo is ruled by the lion and i i love the image of ugh, there's just an air of royalty to like a lion, right? Like they're king of the jungle. Um, and, and there's a, there's just a sense of royalty to how a lion moves, um, and how, <sighs> don't imagine the cowardly lion. <clears throat> that's, that's disempowered. The cowardly lion is not tapping into his inner Leo energy. We're going to tap into our true ear, inner Leo energy and look at how we can treat ourselves like royalty <clears throat> water break gosh um <clears throat> the leo is bringing us um an invitation to treat ourselves like royalty in Aries season, the first season of the astrological year um the aries is ruled by the emperor and in expansive astrology we really looked at what it means to be an emperor over our lives and how we take space how we just like explore um how we discuss things with other people how we disagree with other people um aries really invited us to step into an empowered emperor energy right now later the next fire sign that we get is fucking Leo and we get to really explore treating ourselves like royalty because why not 
why not? And if you're anything like me, if you're anything like me, there's a part of me, um, even as I say this now, there's a, there's a little part of me that's like, that sounds conceited or, or, um, you like that's, um, selfish or you don't deserve that. Like that kind of disempowered energy. Um, uh, -uh. let me pause and check on my dog. I'm back. If there's any part of you that is experiencing um, any really like disempowered energy or thoughts or narratives around um, what it means to step into kind of like playing, playing king or queen of your life, um, playing like, let's play princess, <laughs> kidding, kind of, if that resonates for you, um, if, but if there's any part of you that feels afraid of that or undeserving of that, or like that's ridiculous or like, I don't know, like that's not possible for you. Um, I invite you into Leo season. I really, like I even more invite you into Leo season um, because that's the medicine. <laughs> that's the medicine that we get to really explore and be in for Leo. We get to really explore um, maybe why we don't feel deserving. And we get to explore what it is like for us to step into our power and shine. Um, Leo is a, is a, like connected to, related with the heart. We get to tap into um, our heart in such a different way than we did in cancer. Cancer is very like emotional and um, watery and deep. I feel like Leo, we're tapping into our heart in a whole other way, a very courageous, um, fiery, spunky, uh, shameless way. We're going to explore what it means to be shameless. We're going to explore, um, we're going to continue exploring from cancer into Leo, how we give of ourselves. Um, both signs, both energies um, can be really reflective of our relationship with others and how we protect others, how we attach to our relationships and, and our dreams. Um, Leo too, we get to really explore, um, you know, the royalty analogy really fits. We get to explore how we um, show up as a, um, servant of this earth, of this life. I hesitated with the word servant. Um, yeah. And it kind of fits because even, even royalty, see, I hesitate with the word servant and even royalty, right? If they're showing up to serve themselves, um, and they, they, I don't know, it's all with the invitations, right? We get to explore what it means to um, be royalty in our lives and like act like this is my little kingdom and all of my, um, the, all of the people that I know and love, everybody that I interact with, like what does it mean to treat myself with so much respect and reverence and be so connected to my, my bleeding heart um, and honor and respect everyone else's place in this like metaphorical kingdom too. Leo season is not meant to be um, a season of like egomania. <laughs> um, and when I say treat yourself like royalty and we get to step into like looking at our world as if it's our little kingdom, um, I don't mean like in a narcissistic way, right? And that's also part of the medicine of Leo is we get to explore when, when we are throwing a fit when we are lashing out, um, like we get to explore what is happening for us when that happens and how we can step into more empowered energy. I hope this resonates. I hope this resonates for everyone. Um, so we get to it. So during this transition time, um, Leo season, the sun is officially enters Leo on the 22nd. We have a new moon <clears throat> on the 20th. Um, it, the new moon moves into Leo on the 20th. So on the 20th, we get to, it's like starting, we're conjuring it, it's stirring up. And then in the 22nd, on the 22nd, the sun enters Leo and we really get started 
um, until then, sit with, explore, reflect on um, the invitations of cancer season, the invitations that we've had to honor ourselves so deeply and, and treat ourselves so gently and um, like motherly and protectively. <laughs> um, how, how has that been for you? We get to explore um, like the part of the invitation of cancer season is how we protect that in ourself, how we protect like what we have, what we feel like we have. Um, it's all an illusion anyway. Um, we get to explore our values and our attachments. Um, how have you, how has it been? Um, just kind of take like a really meta look at the past month and reflect on how has this been for you and what needs to come with you? What needs to come with you? The image of the chariot, which um, is the card that rules cancer, is ever so potent now as we move out of cancer. The chariot is all about um, like shedding an old skin or, or graduating into the next thing that's going to take you even further. What needs to come with you? Um, what needs to, what do you need to make sure that you pack away inside your shell? Um, and what really is not working for you anymore? In terms of any area of your life, your relationships, your family, your career, your self-care, your spirituality, um, like no matter what it is, <laughs> what is not working for you anymore? And even if there's kind of like an, ooh, ooh, scary, or like a gripping, or like, I don't know what this new chariot looks like, um, now's, now's the time to really be with your intent, to let go of what needs to go, and bring with you what needs to come with you. Um, and I use the word intent, intentionally. <laughs> Lame. Um, <clears throat> and um, I'm serious. I'm super serious so serious so and because that's so important when we talk about the invitations of leo and how we're going to be showing up in leo season um consider like tap into your your self tap into your heart and consider like what are your strengths already what are you good at innately i said that kind of weird innately <laughs> what is what is coming with you what is it about your chariot or your shell what is it about yourself that already makes you shine what are your strengths already the idea the intention the hope is that we get to really blow those up and amplify those strengths in leo season <laughs> I wrote in my notes and I don't remember writing this. Um, we can't walk up to a lion in a chariot. I don't have the tarot card in front of me. Oh, I do, whoa, that was kind of cool. Um, the strength card rules Leo. This card is all about um, like bravery and mastery and um, I like that I wrote that. <laughs> you can't walk up to a lion in a chariot. We get the, this is a season where we get to kind of be bold and brave, and we get to step outside of um, our security blankets. <laughs> we get to step outside of what feels safe and push ourselves, challenge ourselves. I'm excited. I'm so excited. So. In Leo season, first week we're going to really explore um, just stepping into this royalty and stepping into this energy. Um, how Leo energy shows up in both empowered ways and disempowered ways. Um, just kind of setting the stage. I think from now on in expansive astrology, week two is going to be the tarot week. Um, because that just makes a little more sense to set a framework, uh, like further set a framework of um, 
like the, these archetypes and like ways that we can see these energies reflected in our lives. And like, like um, the tarot just helps to illustrate it even further in deeper ways. So it makes sense to have it week two where in the previous seasons it's been week four. Um, so then in week three, I need to change this. I guess I don't need to right now while I'm filming, but hey, hey, it's raw, it's real. Um, week three, we're gonna really talk about the ego, which is such a broad, I might need to like narrow that down a bit. Um, but we're gonna, this is going great. Come back. How raw, how real are we gonna get? Um, <laughs> sorry for all the pauses. Um, week three, we're gonna explore the ego, which I might end up narrowing down a little bit as I keep refining it. Um, but I want to explore like shamelessness and pride. I wanna explore um, how we, um, conceit and how we, like accept compliments versus like if we experience like a need for validation and a need for praise. I want to, I want students of expansive astrology to feel comfortable experiencing a sense of pride, which is hard for some people. Um, and then week four, we're getting, we're getting, I don't know. We're getting kind of sexy. I don't know. It's going to, I'm <laughs> really excited for week four. I'm going to talk about creativity and pleasure. I think of a lion and I think of, um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, um, words. Leo rules the fifth house. The fifth house um, is all about creativity and pleasure. Um, so we get to explore self-expression, how we shine. We get to explore how we foster creativity in our lives. Um, creativity, I, you know, I used to think this and I hear this frequently, um, people saying that they are not creative and um, we all are creative. We all have the capacity and the ability to create. Um, so I want to tap into that. I want you to tap into that. Um, I want us to feel like we are allowed to play in this life. Um, I'm going to talk even more about shamelessness. We're going to talk about being magnetic and, um, there's going to be some like, um, manifestation work of how we can treat ourselves with such respect and such confidence and knowing that we are magnetic and we are just kind of magnetizing the things that we want to us and that we, if we when we can break free of like some shameful narratives um and really step into um that, that, that kind of confidence, that kind of, um, that sense of being so self-assured, um, we become magnetic to the things that we desire. We're magnetic anyway, newsflash, we're magnetic anyway, whether we're really standing in a sense of power, in a sense of here's what I'm bringing in and here's what I need and, um, we're either attracting those things or we're in a really disempowered, um, undeserving, shame-based place. And um, we tend to magnetize and attract um, things that confirm where we are. We bring in to our circles the things that feel at home there. So if we are always, you, we get to play with where we want to be. And of course, <clears throat> of course, there are exceptions to that. Um, I'm not here to preach any like love and light bullshit, um, like love and light only bullshit. I'm uh, like, even when we're feeling really empowered and we're magnetizing the things to us that, um, th that are good for us and that we want and that we desire, 
um, that doesn't mean that we're positive and happy and sunshiny all of the time. This is a human experience. It's a spiralic experience. We, um, I just never want to sound like I'm trying to preach or encourage um, any sort of narrative of like when bad or sad things happen to you, it's your fault um, or it's because you're feeling disempowered. It's because you're attracting um, abusive, terrible situations into your life. Um, th that's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is that we have a lot of power over how we show up in those situations, in those situations that are, um, that, yeah, that are, that do leave us um, disenfranchised or disempowered or just plain hurting. Um, we still get to um, choose how we show up in those moments too. Um, so, <laughs> so here we are. Um, welcome to Leo season. I'm really, really, really excited for the medicine that Leo season is going to bring. Um, I'm feeling ready for more fire. Um, <laughs> I don't know about you. Let me know how I can support you. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know um, how this lands for you, what resonates for you, or what doesn't. Um, I'm here to hear it. Take care of yourself. Uh, I'll see you soon.